So I'm back on the tech mat with two Tipman TMC magazines. And as you can see, they are not the same color as the factory sends them out. So this is the color they are. This grip is the original factory color. And you can see the difference. So one of the questions that I was messaged privately was, is it a good idea to paint my magazines? And my response to that, because really that is a double that's a, that's a double question in a sense. It's a loaded question. Any custom work you want to do to your marker is always going to be a good idea. If you want to paint it, whatever color, if you want to you know, modify it, it's always a good idea because that's going to keep you going out to play. Keeps you interested in the sport, keeps you interested in the game and going to the field. So that's a good thing. Uh, and it's also a yes for this because a lot of us at this point have taken paint to our TMCs for whatever various reasons. So uh, in this case, I'm going to show you why painting the magazines is not necessarily a bad idea and what I do to, to paint them. So this is a magazine that has never been inserted in the TMC. It was painted and it's uh, set for several days and dried. And as you can see, it looks pretty, pretty straightforward. This one I used recently when on my, my last outing. And um, unfortunately, I didn't have my helmet camera SD card, so I wasn't able to record any footage. But if you can make out here, there is a scratch. You can see one scratch uh, it's running along here. That is where the line runs down to the magazine catch that's inside the mag well on the TMC. And there's a small nick on the back somewhere here. But long story short, the rest of the magazine is pretty much fine. And as you can also see, I left this off to illustrate the difference in color as well, having painted this piece at the base either. So painting your magazines with the TMC, the only area of contact is going to be here. And of course, where paintballs come out of the top chamber, but no one is really paying attention to that. So what do I use to paint my magazines? I airbrush my magazines and I use testers acrylic paint. And more specifically, this is the, and I'm going to set it down and zoom it in so you can get the uh, name here. This is the olive drab and khaki. So this is two colors. So they, you should be able to see it a lot better here. Uh, there we go. Olive drab and khaki. So those are two colors that are opposite on the spectrum. But as far as airbrush, I use a simple $7 airbrush I got off of eBay, air compressor, and I paint all of my stuff using this paint. I've painted my profits that I've used for years, all my TMC magazines, and my TMC itself I've actually painted using the olive drab and khaki brown, so, or khaki. So to get it olive drab, for those of you all that maybe want to go with a, a greenish instead of a brown or tan color, what you need to do with this paint is use a dark gray primer or a dark base. And when you spray this on, it will turn olive drab. If you don't use a base or if you use a white base or a very light base, then it's going to turn out khaki. As uh, my magazines here have, as well as my marker, my profits and everything else. So uh, depending on what color scheme I'm going for. Uh, I can switch up between two colors on one purchase. And as far as the paint itself, how it holds up, this magazine I took out, I actually dropped it uh, during the magazine change. You really can't see too many scuffs or scuff marks on it. And as far as my TMC itself, um, that's where I got hit with a paintball. That's the minimum damage, as you can see. It's, it's been worked over a little bit here, but for the most part, this paint is very durable. The only thing that you have to remember when you paint your magazines is give them time to dry. The longer the paint sits, so if you know you're not going out for another week, paint them when you get the beginning of the week, put them somewhere safe where they can sit undisturbed and continue to dry. They're going to need at least two or three days to let that paint really grab on and hold on to whatever surface you're painting. And then when you take it out, 
you can be a little rougher on the, the equipment because now the paint is really holding. The longer paint has to sit and dry, the more it bonds to the surface and it holds. So as you can see from my profits, they've taken quite a beating, but for the most part, they still have the uh, paint that I put on. So that's what I have for you all as far as painting magazines.